So for the start, they were just burning up the net. So did it, did you guys feel like, man, they just can never miss? Was it defensive problems by you guys, or were they just hitting shots? Um, I feel like it was a defensive problem on us. Um, we just made them feel comfortable from the beginning of the game, and that's where it went from there. Without Key, I mean, obviously you got the start. You had to play more minutes. Did it change how you had to play a little more carefully so you didn't get into foul trouble, things like that? Yeah, 100%. Um, I mean, I was still being aggressive, um, but just being smart, you know, just no, no dumb fouls. I think I only had one foul. Thing, something like that, one or two fouls, but you know, just trying to be smart, um, not trying to put my t my team in a bad position. Offensively, in the second half, you guys were eight for twenty-seven. Matter of missing makeable shots, or was it kind of a lack of execution, combination of both? What went wrong there? Um, we just missed shots. I mean, we missed shots. I mean, it's gonna happen. I mean, I've been in a lot of basketball games. It's gonna happen. Um, but I just feel like if you stop the other team from scoring, then I mean, it's a game. You know. And we just we, we, we like that today. Yeah, you you're close with you're close with Eric. Mm -hmm. He goes four for nineteen tonight or whatever it was. What do you what do you say to him? What I mean Um just told him just now, get his head up. You know, he, he's a great player. We need him. Bad. We need him badly. I mean, he's a big part of our team. You know, last two games, you know, a lot of people was talking about this, he did that, he did this, you know, and I'm telling him, forget about it. You know, it happened, it's in the past. We need you. You know what I mean? No need to sulk on a on a pass. James, you get into the game. What's what's your mindset at that point? What, what do you what's your role in that type of situation? I just try and do anything I can to help my teammates. Rebound the ball, block shots, challenge shots, be athletic, be the athlete that we need on the team, and just do whatever I can to help you slot. That's what I'm trying to get better at doing. So. Like the block early when you were in there, got you got you started personally. Mm. I think it's especially like with West Virginia culture, like those defensive plays, they do a lot for the team. Like someone gets a steal, the crowd's up, they're hype. Someone gets a block, everyone's cheering. I think that's important. It's a good catalyst to get everybody going. So yeah. Did you feel? Lost out there, and by, by lost, I mean, you know, you got the game the five points just before the half, and then, I mean, the second half, nothing went right. I mean, uh, what, what, what is it feeling like when it's not in your control? What you can't I, mean, I, I feel like it is in our control, to be honest with you. I mean, it's just a lack of effort. That's all it is, you know. Um, like I said, I, I played in a lot of basketball games. I were down 20 and came back and won. You know, it's just, it's just the lack of concentration, you know, wanting to do the dirty work. That, that's mm -hmm. all it is, you know I mean? My coach always say, you know, it's the hardest league in America. You know, nobody's just going to give us the game. We got to go take it. That's all it is. We got to switch our mindsets. Mm -hmm. Joe, guys, players are quick to put games in the past and move on, focus on the next game up. But, I mean, it, it, it's an 0 3 start, so, like, the, the hurdle gets a little bigger. Uh, what's it take now at this point to, you know, to overcome? that hurdle because, you know, like you said, it's going to be a grind uh, for the other, you know, 15, 15 games. It's just, just a matter of taking things, like I said before. I mean, I mean, I, I've been a take all my life, you know I mean? I, I've, I'm, I'm gritty. I mean, you guys know where I'm from, so, you know, I, I got to be strong, you know, um, no matter no matter what, no matter what the situation is, you know, I got to be strong. And I know I'm going to be strong for my guys, you know, and it's just a matter of me getting everybody on the same page with me. Difficult thing for you about defending the pick and roll, especially in the middle of the floor. Um, I mean, I, I don't really feel it's difficult. I just feel like if we all do our jobs, then you know, and our doing by doing our jobs, got to listen to coach. You know, I feel like sometimes we do our own things, and that's where we run into problems. Well, he's not a Hall of Fame coach for no reason. James, for you, I'm saying it's a little bit different. Joe has a ton of experience. You're still learning on one of these things. Is there a learning curve there? What's the toughest for you thing for you to pick up? I just think it's well, back to what Joe was saying, on my part, lack of concentration. I think everybody, we just need to lock in as a team, listen to the Hall of Fame coach, because Cox, he knows what he's doing. Everybody knows he knows what he's doing. So that's that's a fault on my part. I just need to stay locked in, just do what coach tells me to do. So, so it's different from the practice floor to the heat of a game yeah. like this. There's yeah. other things distracting you, right? Yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say distracting, but 
this. Have your attention. We're focused on winning. We're focused on winning. Um, and I guess it's a different environment from practice, from no spectators to a game. It was sold out crowd. I guess that just comes with experience and we're going to get better as we go on. So. Joe, coach had said, I think it was yesterday, that after the two road games, that guys had to kind of face the truth that maybe you guys weren't as good as what you guys thought you had been previous. So, I mean, if that's the truth you guys are facing, I mean, just like kind of give me like the mindset, I, I guess, on, on, on where you guys are right now. And, and um, I mean, to be honest, I, I still think we're as good. I mean, a lot of people might look at me crazy. I, I, I think it's just taking an extra step, you know? Um, and that, that just comes within you. I mean, I, I'm, I'm my own man. He's his own man, you know, but I can't make him do something he doesn't want to do. You know what I mean? So as a team, we're all just going to have to take a bigger step than what we're taking right now. And, and that's all it is. You know, it's just, just a little bit of hard work. You know, it's just a little bit of hard work. And if we do that, I promise you, it'll be a smooth sail. If I could ask you at the end of the first time, I know you, it was kind of a tough foul that you got called on. But also the situation where the musket goes off and the clock's still running, probably a lot of confusion. At that point, could you just kind of take me through that, you know, those last couple seconds there? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people got confused. Me, I didn't get confused because, that. I mean, I'm just locked in. Like, I I, I go until I hear the whistle. Like, I, I, you can shoot as many times as you want. Right. I, I'm, I'm still going to be locked in until getting the basketball, you know. But I get, you know, a lot of people got confused because usually that, that goes off at halftime. But me, I mean, if I was down there, I probably would have got the rebound because I'm, I'm looking at the ball. Like, I'm not I'm, – I'm waiting for the whistle to, you know, to blow. So, like I said, I mean, I, I just got a different mindset than a lot of people. And if I could get people on my – you know, if, if we could all get on the same page, I, I feel like we'll be fine. Stop at the whistle, not the musket. Right? Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> As long as they ain't shooting at you. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. I'll just duck. I'll just duck. And to Joe, I don't know if this simplifies it too much, but one thing that Huggins says that guys aren't in the gym enough doing individual things or even maybe some team things outside of practice. You sound like you're in a leadership, ownership position here, right? How much would more time before and after practice help? And how do you do that when you said you can't, you can't make guys? Do yeah. Stuff where um, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, you, sound like you, that sounds like it might be a solution you guys entertain. Um, I mean, I, I feel like guys, we do spend uh, spend spend time with each other out of, outside of practice. I mean, we go to each other's house, we play the game with each other. You know, um, go get food, things like that. You know, I'm, you know, just being in the gym. You know, I, I probably just got to do a better job of just, you know, letting everybody know, hey, come on, let's go. You know, it's time to go. Um, I did that at my last school with, with one of my roommates. You know, I would bring them to the gym with me all the time. So, you know, I, I guess I just got to do it here, you know, and I don't have a problem doing that either. You know what I mean? I, I have a car. I'll go pick up everybody. You know, if we got to go, then, I, then we'll, we'll go to the gym together. I wasn't but, asking about watching TV and pizza parties, but, like, <laughs> you know, like, just, you know, individual stuff or, or teammate stuff before practice, after practice. It just sounds like what he said a couple of times is that that used to happen early in the year. It's not now. And then all of a sudden, shooting numbers are down and you've lost three in a row and perhaps that's connected. I mean, I, I still see people in the gym together. I mean, I see people every day after practice shooting together. I mean, me and Eric shot yesterday and the day before that together. So I just feel like it's just concentration. That's all it is. You know, it's just locking in on the game. That's all it is. People might be thinking about other things, you know. I don't know what, what's going on with Eric. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk to him, but he might still be thinking about, you know, a lot of people still questioning him, you know, why did you do this, why did you do that, when we should just all leave that in the past, you know. It, it happens. So, but he'll he'll be fine. I mean, Eric is a great player. We need him, like I said before. He'll be fine, though. And then we get Keedy back, so we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Anything else?